Hey guys, um, this is going to be a bit of a weird video for my YouTube channel. As you guys know, I don't tend to do these sort of videos, I guess. Um, yes, face, no, beard, trimmed, nice. Um, some of you may or may not know, I am a huge, avid fan of <laughs> Magic the Gathering. I play both the card game and the digital format. And so what I've decided to do is go ahead and, I, I, full disclosure, um, I'm in the process of getting my level 1 judgment certification in Magic the Gathering so that my friend's store can uh, host Magic the Gathering, Friday Night Magic, stuff like that, so I can get DCI points. And, well, on a whim, as, as Stewie would say, a whim, I decided to apply for the beta of Magic the Gathering online and well um, yeah I kinda got in the game <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is let me just add my webcam real quick Hi. And I'm going to, this is so unprofessional. Ugh. So unprofessional. Oh my god. Uh, let me just. Uh, filters. Um, there we go. So about it back when those roommates playing uh, RuneScape. Uh, so, what I've decided to do is do a, a breakdown. Now, I have got multiple libraries. Let me see if it changes. I know it's an invalid deck chart. I have multiple libraries, as you can see. Majority mono color because mono is the thing that I like to do. So we are invalid because of one reason. We are one card short. Um, I think. What did I take out? I have no idea what I took out. Oh, it was a fatal push. Add the fake push. There we go. And so, yes, kitty. Yes, kitty. Yes, yes. Roommate's cat wants to be in the video. And so, I wanted to break down the deck for you. There's no sideboard in this because I don't really do tournaments. I mostly just do quick constructed and a few other things. So, bear in mind, I am a new player to the game. I, as you can see, no crystals, you know, barely any gold. I'm, I'm not a shill for Wizards of the Coast or Magic the Gathering or anything. This is my personal account. I don't work for Wizards or WotC or anyone like that or Hasbro. I, full disclosure, I used to work for Hasbro, but in the, as a voice actor for their toy department, I did, I did the quests for Cobra. So I'm just, there you go. Uh, but other than that, my contract with them expired in 2008, so it's 2019, so there you go. So this is a black-blue um, pseudo-control deck. Um, there are several win conditions, so let me explain. One of which is win condition one, piss your opponent off to the point where they concede. Uh, what I mean by that is, quite literally, you're looking at a lot of cancels, a lot of uh, water knots, a lot of mind rots, a lot of murders, uh, fatal push duress, stuff like that. You're looking at cards that are constantly letting me look at my opponent's hand, look at his library, and, and control it from that aspect to get inside the head of my opponent. Another win aspect uh, of, of the deck is um, mechanized production. Now, this has only ever won for me once. I've, I've, played, I've played about seven to ten games with this deck, and um, it it's only one for me once, um, pretty much an enchant artifact I control at the beginning of your upkeep, create a non-token copy of an enchanted artifact. Uh, if that, if I control eight or more artifacts I with the same name, I win the game, period. Um, and yes, I did throw it on to my Mox Amber. Yes, I'm that stupid. I throw it onto my Mox Amber and it was just eight mana. 8 mana, 8 mana, just, I had so much mana, I, I didn't even bother, I, I quite literally just used my Mox Ambers for my control side, and my lands that I did summon, I mostly used it to get into Siri. Um, you are going to be using Tassiri Master of Metal, and Tassiri 
uh, 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 the schema. Unfortunately, I've only got the one schema, and I've got two of the uh, Master of Metal. I would prefer another schema to modify the deck. But we are running two, uh, four, sorry, four submerged boneyards. Again, they're all I've got: two from 19 edition, and two from whatever Imam kept, blah 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 edition. Uh, Ten swamp, eight islands. Now, we're also running four field creepers. Uh, we are running artifact creatures, plain and simple. We're, we're, we're running four field creepers. Uh, and uh, four scrapyard uh, uh, scroungers. Uh, we're running uh, two kucha, yeah, kucha cabras. We're, we're, running, we're running two of those. Um, and I think that's the only creatures we've got. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We've got ministers of inquiries as well for a little bit of mill. Oh, and uh, gift of the ethereal. Mostly for the life link and the death touch. If I really have to get rid of a, a hulking whatever or a Tyrannosaurus or whatever that managed to get to the field because I was tapped out of blue. That is what they're for. They are meant to distract the opponent to say, hey, pick me, pick me, pick me, look at me, look at me, look at me. And again, the, the Ravenous Chuchacabra is there just simply for the flat removal. You know, just gets the field, boom, destroy, done. Again, it's another control aspect. It's also another creature aspect I can use to just get out there. Um, again, Mind Rots, for the control, murder for the control. I've gone with four murders. Um, one of the tweaks that I can suggest that you go with is you actually go down to two murders if you want to tweak this deck. Um, uh, we've got two negates, uh, uh, two essence scatters, uh, and two to series touch. Um, artifact, enchant artifact, artifact becomes it, it, any artifact becomes a five five in addition to its other other types. Uh, when the entire artifact is put into its owner's graveyard, return that card to its owner's hand. I tend to throw that on, believe it or not, my Mox Amber. Or, <laughs> yes, or I'll put it on a Field Creeper, or I'll put it on a, a, a Scrap Heap Scrounger, just simply because I feel if they needed a buff or not. Uh, again, I've only got two from the starter deck that you get. So, you know, again, what you could do is take out two murders and throw in... Uh, Two to series touch, and maybe just maybe uh, take out the gift of the Etherborn. I don't suggest you do, but you can take out the gift of the Etherborn and throw in something else that is going to help you. I didn't think that it, it wasn't necessarily the, the the life link. It was a low cost death touch. I was looking for two black for a two three death touch life link. It 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 it's usually <laughs> yes, kitty. Yes, kitty. Well, come here then. No? A cat literally like... <laughs> Finally, get... <laughs> you touch the cat, it stops meowing. I don't know what it is. It, it's like screaming for attention. But, um, yes, like I said. And so, mechanized production is a win... Is a potential, potential uh, a win condition. Um, it's majority control... So you're looking to either get into your opponent's head, make him quit, uh, control the board, and just swing with your three, your three, three, three twos, various other creatures. Um, use Tazeri's abilities um, to create more Thopters, things like that. And in in theory, in in theory, you could technically grab uh, mechanized production and actually put it on a Thopter. Uh, that Tezzeret uses, and then just uses Neg 2 ability to just remove creatures that you just don't want. It is literally black-blue control. Um, I am missing some, some really good artifacts, um, and there's nothing I can do about that, sadly, simply because, again, I'm a starting new player to the game. To the game. Um, quite literally, I, I've only got one common free card and two uncommon free cards. That's all I've got. Um, here, I'll even show you the deck in question see I literally just barely have started getting uh, uh, the the free decks that you get from through playing um, no big crystal count no no big uh, card count here we'll, we'll do this and bless you and see literally it's just you know no big card counts no nothing brand new player it's a black blue it, it, it it's it's a deck I designed 
that I, I think it, it, it's fun. Um, if you want, I can go ahead and play a few games. Um, if that's what you want. Um, so, yeah. It, it's entirely up to you guys. Um, let me know in the comment section of the video down below if you want to see some games with a deck played. Uh, until then, guys, uh, I'm going to end the video here, and I'll see you all later on today on Twitch, uh, where I will be playing War Thunder. I believe it's War Thunder Wednesday today. Um, maybe a little bit of Magic the Gathering later. Until then, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.